When you go to redcap.pcom.edu, your landing page is the REDCAP homepage. Here, you can see a link to our REDCAP LibGuide, which has information about REDCAP accounts, REDCAP policies and procedures, and tutorial videos. When you log in, you'll go to the My Projects page. This page is a list of all the projects to which you have access. It provides basic information about each project, such as the number of records and fields, type of project, and whether it's in production or development mode. You can organize your projects into folders by using the Organize button. You can enter a folder name, and pick different colors to change how the folder name displays in your list. Then you can select it on the drop down on the right and choose what projects to put in the folder. Once you click close, everything will be in folders and you could choose to limit or expand how many projects you see at any given time. The Help and FAQ tab links to the general REDCAP FAQ. You can use Control F to search for specific topics or find topics on the drop-down menu. The FAQ is maintained by a REDCAP consortium committee and is kept up to date. It's an excellent reference for many simple questions. It's especially handy for calculations, branching logic, or piping where you might have to use a specific syntax such as the date diff calculation. Vanderbilt University provides videos on the Training Videos tab. These videos explain how to use REDCap, but we recommend that you use our videos as a general rule because our videos go over PCOM specific policies and procedures. On the New Project tab, you can create a new project you'll need to give it a title, a purpose, and specify a type of research when doing a research project. You can choose to assign the project to a specific folder. Project notes are used to describe the purpose of the project and are only for your reference. If it's your only REDCap project, you might not need to put anything in the notes. But if you're making a significant change to a project and testing a copy, use project notes. The notes help keep track of your processes and procedures throughout your project's different stages. Finally, you have the option to begin your project from scratch, upload a previous REDCap project, or use a template. Creating an empty project is self-explanatory. To move a project from another university's REDCap to PCOM's REDCap, download the project as an XML file, and then upload using the Upload REDCap Project XML File option. This copies the data dictionary, the data, and project setup metadata. You also have the option of using a template Feel free to play around with using the templates when creating a new REDCap project. It's a great way to learn a little bit more about the system. Once you've made your choices, hit Create Project, and it will take you to the Project Setup page, where you can start building your new project. Our tutorial and supplementary videos will go over how to set up your forms, customize your project, and add other REDCap users. Once you've completed these steps, it's essential to test your project by adding practice records. If you're using surveys, send out practice surveys to yourself or your colleagues. If you're using a longitudinal project, make sure that you've tried doing data entry in all or at least many different events. If you're working with other people on your project, have them tested as well. 
they might be able to tell you if there's anything that will be a problem for them. Finally, use the Data Dictionary Checker on our REDCap guide to see if it meets best practice standards. Once you've tested your project thoroughly and are ready to move to production, click on the Move Project to Production button. You have the option to keep any data that you've entered so far, or delete test records. Once you hit the Yes Move to Production status button, REDCap will email the administrators. If your project requires IRB approval, we'll ask you to provide the project's IRB approval letter. Once we have the form, or if your project doesn't need one, we'll move the project to production, and you'll be ready to begin collecting actual data. Once you're in production, the landing page will be the project home page. This page has quick links to many backend tasks, such as exporting data, running reports, and managing users.